Hi everyone, I am Milan and I have been a data scientist for the best part of the past 10 years. After I finished my PhD, I have been working with startups, large corporations and even with the European Commission. All these projects taught me how to use and apply geospatial data science, network analytics, data visualization, NLP, ML, AI and a bunch of other subfields of data science to solve real practical problems. During this journey, I also got to gain experience on the best practices, tips and tricks on the daily work and daily lives of a data scientist, which is actually the main purpose of this channel, because the plan here is to create a channel where I will share more or less weekly videos with you, where, we'll, where I will introduce some of my favorite research papers, some of the latest research and data highlights, um, cool Python packages, tips and tricks and best practices. So, without further ado, let me just jump into the first topic, which is going to be my favorite and probably everybody's favorite geospatial data science library in Python, GeoPandas. So, let me just quickly zoom in and also minimize myself. There we go. And here you can already see my kind of standard daily working environment. So I have been pretty agnostic with the tools and IDs I use, so I've been using this Jupyter Notebook for about seven years now. It's very handy, well, very simple, and works pretty well and, and fast. So first things first, GeoPandas is spelled with G-N-O, and GeoPandas is actually pandas plus geometry. So if you have been working with Python, then you already know that Pandas is the most standard data manipulation library. If you haven't been working with Python before, then imagine that Pandas is something similar like Excel in the sense that it contains tabular data. However, it's a lot more different in the sense that it's completely programmable from Python. So we can do all sorts of data manipulation on a Pandas data frame which is actually extended by the GeoPandas package to the geometry layer. So let's just import GeoPandas and we will soon get a closer view of what I just mean by that. Import GeoPandas as GPD, we usually use this alias GPD. And also if we are here, just let's take a look on the version I'm currently using. Here you can see I'm using 0.13.2, which is probably not the latest release, but it will be good enough for today. So, one of the nice features of GeoPandas is that it comes with some built-in datasets, which we can quickly check by just printing out what GeoPandas datasets um, subfolder has in store for us, especially in its available bucket. So here you can see that this version of GeoPandas comes with three built-in datasets, from which I'm going to use the one called Natural Earth Low-Res. This is a low-resolution world map curated by the National Na Natural Earth Organization. So let's see where this dataset is actually stored on my computer, which we can quickly query using this comment here. So, as you can see, it's a very nice location. It's in the depths of the jungle of my Python packages and, and notebooks and libraries. So I'm not gonna read this path out loud, but I will just ask Pandas to read it as a file with this very simple comment, and I will store the result in this variable I will call GDF. Here we are, it was read, so let's see what kind of file GDF turned out to be. It's a GeoPandas data frame that's very reassuring. Let's see how many elements it has. 877, which is kind of close enough to the number of countries, def depending on how we define countries. And let's see how it finally looks like. So here it is, a nice, nice spreadsheet, tabular data. We have float values like the population estimate. We have categorical values like the continent names. And we have the magical geometry column, which stores the country's boundaries as geometry objects as a series of coordinates for each country. So how do we plot this on a map? We can easily plot a geodata frame by using their internal plotting command, which is 
matplotlib under the hood, but if we use matplotlib directly, then we can get something much nicer. So let's just import matplotlib first and then create a new canvas. We can define the figure size, it's measured in inches. And then just plot GDF, use this canvas. We can also set a column that, which we want to show on the map. In terms of the coloring, we can also set a color map like temp 10. And we can also set the color of the country's boundaries, which I will set to white. And we can even adjust the, the weight, uh, sorry, the width of these boundary lines, which I will set to two. And just to get rid of the horizontal and vertical axis, I will just switch this off. And here we are. So we, just in like three minutes, we got to draw up a nice word map purely in Python using GeoPandas. And as quick and and as quick as and as simple as that, we just arrived to the end of the first episode. So now you kind of have a feeling about the short, quick and hands-on tutorials I would like to share here in this channel. So hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you next week. Bye.